day one of the Elevated Experience 2023 in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, thank everyone for being here. We appreciate, as always, all of our sponsors, which we'll run down here shortly. Um, had a great morning already. Glad everybody you know, finally made it to our, uh, our start spot. And we've had an epic drive already over the last hour or so up to this spot, about to go see a waterfall. And uh, we wanted to take a minute, obviously, just to thank you again for being here and supporting what, what Will and I have kind of put together um, with our brand partners, who are you guys and some that could not be here. So we'll let Will talk a little about the sponsors and uh, kind of check out the products that they've given to us. Yeah, Orca pitched in, gave us these really cool kicks, which is keep it cool. It fits any beer bottle, beer can. It is universal. Wash, yeah, just like this, boom. Right Pretty there. Pretty sick. They sent us some barrels, which Chambliss has in his hand there. Yeah. And they also sent us some traveler cups, and we got one for everybody. We've also had GCI kicking chairs for everybody on the trip. We also have got some Clean Freak wipes to keep us clean throughout the trip. And we've got our elevated shirts and infinite off-road gear. We got the travel bags, the trash bags, and the customized cups that they donated to. Let's kick off this trip. Let's come grab our stuff and hit the road and get on this awesome adventure. There you go. Black or orange? Orange. From the outskirts of Yakima, we started on our epic journey. Seeking solace in nature, our sights were set on a quick stop at Clear Creek Falls. A short walk to a Vista Lookout awaited us. We reached the lookout and were in awe of the beauty and nature had provided us. This 200 foot waterfall was a great start to this trip. It sparked in us adventure that was about to come in the days ahead. After pictures and some goofing around, we headed back to our vehicles to make our way to our first night's camp spot at Holler Pass. After airing down our tires, we hit the dirt road and our journey has only just begun. At Holler Pass, beneath the watchful gaze of Mount Rainier, we set up our camp. We arrived with heavy cloud coverage that was hiding Mount Rainier from being seen. Come morning, we were in for a big surprise.
Mount Rainier's summit is over 14,000 feet tall and features 25 glaciers, some of the largest you'll ever find on the North American continent. Mount Rainier is also one of the deadliest volcanoes. Mount Rainier is one of the most hazardous volcanoes in the Cascade Mountains, not only in terms of its potential for eruption, but also for the risk of producing major debris flows, even without an eruption. Everyone loves s'mores at camp. It's, it's a must have, but no one has them at breakfast time. Created this very unique breakfast s'more, as we call it. It starts out with some peanut butter, put on some bacon, add a couple raspberries, then you roast the mallow. It's important to cook them slow. Don't burn them. Let them get nice, toasted, and puffy. We made our way to Roslyn, with its rich history became a pause in our expedition. After the group split up, one group making its way through an easier route and the others took a road less traveled that was tighter and more technical, making it impassable for some of the larger vehicles. Get some food cooked up. I'd be happy. Got the Blackstone out. No better people, no better place. We're right where we need to be in life, so life's good. Finally, we all make it to camp along the bank of the river that feeds Clay Elm Lake. We reconnected and set up camp as a village. We all rely on each other and help each other set up.
After we began cooking and settling in for the night, we broke bread and ate around the campfire where bonding is forged by the wilderness. As the night grew on, a few spirits later, it was time to test the waters. Hey, I'm Josh Steele. I am the photographer here for the Elevated Experience. Uh, this is day three. We are here at beautiful Clee Elum Lake. We're right alongside this river. So not only am I the photographer this year, same as last year, but this year I've also taken on the role of being the guide. Uh, this is my backyard. I live over in Seattle. So I am uh, thrilled to take you guys and everyone here on a nice little trip to my backyard. So game plan for today, we're gonna go into Clee Elum. We're gonna find a bakery because everyone needs some coffee and some baked goods to start the day. Then uh, we have about 80 miles to drive up north. We're gonna stop at a fire lookout that has a fantastic view of some of the, uh, just some huge mountains in the Cascade Range. And then after that, we're gonna head up to Leavenworth, really cool Bavarian town. Uh, we're gonna ride a coaster and then just enjoy the beautiful town of Leavenworth. So the challenge in setting up the route for this trip is that I'm a little biased, but Washington's beautiful and there's so much to see. And in five days, trying to pack in the best spots was tough because there's a lot of good spots. But uh, I tried to find a diverse collection of campsites. Yesterday was a crazy mountain view with, with Rainier. Last night was more of a nice secluded river spot. In a couple nights, we have a, uh, a, a different mountain lake view. So just trying to have a diversity of campsites in an amazing, beautiful state. north of Cleon and we are heading to a fun little hike. It's about a mile round trip up to Red Top Lookout. It's a, it's a fire lookout, uh, but it's called Red Top Lookout. And uh, it has a great view looking out towards some of the prominent peaks that are in the Snohomi area. So one of the main mountains we'll be looking at is Mount Stewart, which is one of my personal favorites in the area. Uh, it just stands out prominent in the sky along with the rest of the, the Snoqualmie range. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to do a little hike, get on my feet, get out of the Jeep for a little bit. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright
Leavenworth beckoned with alpine charm and vibrancy. A brewery tour, Italian delicacies, and a thrilling ride will fill our time in this amazing town. Leavenworth was a thriving industrial town in the early 1900s, but after the railroad pulled out, the town fell into hardship. It was in the 1960s the town got together and came up with the idea to turn it into a Bavarian village, inspired by Munich, Germany. This was to attract tourists and bolster their economy. High School Brewing Company was founded in 2010, opened its doors in 2011, but the Brulach family, Pam and Oliver, have been here in the valley for more than 20 years. The whole impetus of the creation of High School Brewing Company was there wasn't any locally made craft brew here in town, and Pam and Oliver decided, why don't we just do it ourselves? We want to bring good craft beer to this valley and, and enhance the experience and have our friends in. And so they decided to found the place back in 2010. Leavenworth itself is such a nexus of outdoor activities and, and fun and beauty. Most of us here in the valley, we revel in the outdoors and we love to go out and play. And what better way to finish off a day playing in the mountains, of which there are many around here, to come to the local haunt, get together with your friends, decompress, talk about the adventures we all had, drink some awesome beer, get the family together. It is, it is amazing to see the community come together regularly here at Icicle. And ever since, we've just been making excellent beer. And the, the, whole, the whole motto of this place is, our family loves bringing people together through great craft beer experiences. This experience is not just about overland, it's about overlanding, experiencing the cities that you go to and go through on your overland adventure. We stop in towns and check out what the town has to offer, and today we are checking out the Alpine Coaster in Leavenworth, Washington. Take a ride with us as we check out this coaster. This is a 115 mile day. We will not have cell service for the whole day. So we are at our fuel stop this morning, checking out our vehicles, going everything, checking air pressure, checking our links, checking everything to make sure we will be good for the drive because once we get out there, we will not have cell service and we need to be fully prepared for anything that could go wrong. We are also hitting the Safeway to get the last minute supplies we need for dinner tonight fuel, water, make sure you have tons of water when you're doing trips like this. And we are checking everything out and we're about ready to head out. My name is Tanner Ricks with Rockside Engineering. Uh, we're here on the Elevated Experience and after a great night's sleep in a hotel and a good shower, uh, we're getting ready to head back out on the trails. And it's just been an awesome experience to get out in the backwoods and the hills and spend time with amazing people. And so a perk of being in the off-road industry, working with Rockslide Engineering, um, obviously we all work so hard to create new innovative products, uh, be the next step in the... Ah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> this is a one-off, I may be making more. Um, playing a good prank on a friend, Rich Klein, he's over Trail Hero. Um, I put a few shirts together, some with his face and other people's faces, and uh, so every once in a while this pops out uh, at the right time for everyone to just check out the random funny shirts.
After an amazing time in Leavenworth, we headed to Lake Chelan. As we came into town, we saw a few teenagers jumping off a bridge into the lake. This inspired us to be young again. We decided to take the leap as well, and a thrill was ignited in us. <laughs> We ventured out of town and found an unchartered lakeside haven, a hidden treasure of a campsite discovered through the thrill of exploration. Elevated Experience 2023 has been a great time. Um, people that want to come on Overland, you don't really need anything. Um, you can make a comfortable bed to sleep in. Yeah, you, you, you're the experience. Um, it doesn't take thousands of dollars of uh, Overland equipment to be come out, come out here and be it. All I did was I brought my truck out and I stepped in the back seat. So I made a little more comfortable this year. I, I made some changes so I can have a little more comfort, but. Again, it, it didn't take much of anything for me to do that. I think it was a $10 piece of wood. Throw a sleeping bag in the truck and just go. Go adventure. Don't be stuck at home. Go do something. My name's Mike Noggle. I'm with Infinite Off-Road, and we are hanging out at the Elevix Experience 2023, having an absolute blast. It's been an amazing experience. I mean, the content we've been getting, the views. I mean, it's, it's just so awesome. Um, and it's not all work. I mean, it's been really neat. We've we've met some amazing people, made some amazing memories, and we are really looking forward to the next one. Sure, we've had a lot of really good times. Um, we've had some crazy times as well. Uh, we had a brake line failure on the back left. Um, had a lot of friends come together, help us out. We got it pinched off, get us through the next couple days. So a lot of times when these things happen, you know, we had a um, we had a misalignment issue. Somebody hit a log pretty good, knocked the alignment out really bad. Um, it was drivable, but but really bad. Um, we were able to get it back to town, uh, make a call to a couple local guys. A lot of times these smaller towns have some really good support um, from mechanics and local teams that will help you, you know, get you back on the trail. We've had probably four or five little small mishaps every time we've been able to recover, fix it, you know, maybe take a small detour. Um, stopped by Napa a couple times to grab some tools for a few things we didn't have. Usually if you have a small basic kit, you can at least get back to a Napa or an AutoZone um, and, and get back. So, you know, when these things do happen, you know, stay calm, think about what you can do to fix it, attempt to fix it, and once you get it fixed, continue the adventure because the adventure does not have to stop just because you get one little hiccup. Everybody's going to have a problem in a hiccup, just keep going and get it fixed. We're gonna give you guys a quick walk around of the Infinite Off-Road 392 we built here. Um, usually the first thing we get asked is, what's it sound like? The Hemi sounds awesome. Actually, you guys wanna take a quick hear of it? Grab the mic. Yeah. We're gonna uh, give you a little close up here. So that's the Borla attack system. It's awesome. It's really nice because you can turn it off and on. Um, if it gets a little louder, it gets a little droning when you're driving. Um, and man, it is, it sounds good. We get so many people stop and they're like, oh, what's in that thing? So definitely gets a lot of attention. So we've got our full lighting setup. We've got our 40 watt pods here. Um, these are awesome. We've got amber covers and black covers. Um, this is our DRL fender chop kit. Um, really, really popular right now. Um, we've got a 20 inch light bar, um, worn winch, ADD bumper. Um, rock crawler suspension, four and a half inch long arm kit on it. Uh, rock slide engineering, steps, Dana UD60s on it. So we've got the Fox Performance Series shocks, Switch Pro setup. Um, we run a Switch Pro setup in almost every vehicle. Um, just put a PSC 
um, hydro steer setup on it. Uh, made a huge difference with the 40s um, and the UD60s. Um, we've got our Smitty built trailer back here um, that's been fully customized. We're running a Dometic cooler in it, um, power base sound bar, um, a full red arc system for the complete battery manager system, um, as well as a Dakota Lithium 280 amp hour battery so we can run almost seven days on a refrigerator, stereo, pellet grill, and still have power for everything we need. So this is the um, PowerBase XL 1250. Um, PowerBase sent it to us. Great company we work with. We sell a lot of these. Um, superb warranty, superb sound, good bass out of a small package, and it's so easy. You just hook it up to power, 12 volt, black, red, and you're good to go. This is our new chase light. Um, we actually had to tint it a little bit. It's a little bright for road use, um, but offers left and right blinker, brake light, and a full reverse light as well. This is a Rock Slide Engineering fold-out table made for the JL that we've modified to be able to fit on our Smitty built trailer. Works great, super fast to deploy, super heavy duty. This thing's taken an absolute beating over the last four or five days. We probably trashed our bearings in the rear and this thing still folds out. Um, we've got a full power management system in here. So we have a full Dakota Lithium 280 amp hour battery sitting under here. That is a massive battery. It's the power of several golf car batteries in a very small package and a very light package. Um, this cover was built by KRS Design Works in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Good friends of ours, they do amazing custom work. Um, a full Red Arc battery manager system, controller. We can turn our lights on, we can turn our stereo on, turn our fridge. We can control, see our power usage, see how many days it's gonna last. Um, and then this allows us to control all of our power in and out, 110 converter. So basically, you have the power of a house sitting in this little slide after um, A lot of people say, you take that thing off road? And we're like, yeah, we do. Listen, everybody builds vehicles to their suit, whether you're taking a 1987 Corolla out and camping with your friends in a, in a state park or coming out here to the wilderness with a bunch of guys and vehicles that are, you know, built a little bigger. But that's the great thing. You can do it however you want, but just do you. This whole experience, it's hard to put into words. Will and I and everyone else behind the scene with our media crew, a lot of work goes into getting to this point where you can actually enjoy the fruits of your labor and enjoy these five to six days with these experiences with your friends. We could never do this without our brand partners who are phenomenal and who put trust and faith in us to provide an experience that's gonna be not only worth their investment, but worth their time because that's important to people. If you haven't been involved with something like this before, it's definitely a balance because we are, we're doing a lot of front end work on this to make sure we provide the best experience possible and the best media and content possible for our brand partners. I mean, you know, that's, that's the reason that they make the financial and time investment to come on this trip. Um, so there's a balance between the business side of the elevated experience and the actual experience side, which is what you all see on the media that gets released out to the public. And so that's what this is about to us, is a, is a genuine and great balance of work and play where we can do the back end, but also enjoy the fruits of our labor here. And, and that's that's more of a metaphor for life, maybe in general, where uh, that balance is very important to not only put in the work to be able to appreciate things, but also enjoy them on the back end. One thing we definitely don't want to overlook also is our, uh, our guide on this trip for the Elevated Experience Pacific Northwest, Josh Steele, who I think you can probably see in the background there. Uh, everywhere we're going for this five, six day trek and adventure is, is pretty much his backyard. And, we were lucky enough to meet Josh on the trip last year for the Utah Colorado trip and uh, brought him in this year to kind of guide us and not just for the trail, but also to give us uh, expertise on the area, 
and, and give us a level of comfort with where we were going and what we were doing. So we've greatly appreciated Josh. Um, he has an, a phenomenal social media presence and we hope all of you would, uh, would follow him on there. I'm sure we can put that somewhere in this video. But um, th this is not just something he does on the weekends. This is a lifestyle for Josh. He, he has a nine to five job like a lot of us do, but this is a passion and a lifestyle for him. And we really appreciate him offering his services and expertise and passion to uh, come on the Elevated Experience Pacific Northwest and really uh, show us the ropes of Washington, which we were not familiar with. After packing up camp, we headed to Winthrop. Steeped in history, unfolded tales of yesteryears, this historical mining town deserved a day of exploration and experiences. In 1883, the lure of gold brought the first permanent settlers. This gold rush sparked growth in Winthrop and turned the town into a booming mining town. I am up here and we're at Slate Peak on the highest road in Washington. I want to give an awesome shout out to Falcon Tires. They have been amazing on this trip. I have had an awesome experience with them and we even had a mishap happen on day three of filming where I couldn't see and we were in the thick dust, thick trees. And I ended up hitting a log which bumped off the lower arm and the cam bolt spun and they did not pop. The bead stuck, the tire, the sidewall did not tear, and the tire held up. It was awesome. I was able to get off the trail, get into a town, get alignment, get everything fixed, but that tire did not slice the sidewall, even with the hard hit it took. I was going about 25, 
dead hit the log, vehicle stopped, tire good, alignment off, but we got it fixed. This has been an amazing trip so far. These tires have performed amazingly on the road, on the gravel and the wet mud. All conditions we've thrown at them this week, they have performed better than expected. As Elevate Experience drew to a close, Diablo Lake beckoned. We wanted to end our experience surrounded by the Cascade Mountain Range. Paddleboarding and tranquility embraced us, concluding a journey that transcended boundaries, a celebration of nature's unfettered beauty. We just finished day six of Elevate Experience. It's the last day and we ended it at Lake Diablo in Washington. This is a majestic lake. It was the last stop of the trip and you can see why because it was a sweet little reward after a long week of off-roading, camping, all the shoots and the media we have to do for our branding partners. It was an awesome week and this is where we ended it. One of the amazing things is we are grateful for our friends that can come along and be a part of this trip. We are grateful for our branding partners. If you guys like this video, this movie, make sure you like it, comment down below, share it with everybody to get the passion out for getting outside. That is our goal is to get you excited and get you to see the beautiful outdoors and chase it and go 
check out these spots that we show you. We will catch you outside.